Now, what if we actually want to determine different types of weapons? Well, we need to have something that determines max ammo because max ammo does change just like ammo can change. But we're going to have to create something that will determine how much the max ammo can be. And if you play, if you're making an RPG, for example, you again, you probably wouldn't want health, the maximum health to be the same, just to be 100 all the time. You want to have that as a variable too. So you can you can do all sorts. But for now, I'm just going to stick with using ammo as this example. Now, now what I'm going to create here is something, a new type of variable. And let's say this is variable weapon. So, what weapon do you have? Well, you could say, well, if I have weapon 1, or if I have weapon 2, or if I have weapon 3, or you can actually give it a name. So let's say your first weapon is a pistol. Well, we have to put it in quotation marks because this, this is called a string, which basically means that it's some text. So, if I want to say what is what is the weapon it is this bit of text here it is pistol that's this is in create so that's how it starts and say in step we want to make if statements we want to make conditionals on the max ammo depending on what weapon you have so if the weapon equals pistol for example and you want to be careful that you don't use a uh, you you keep consistent with the uppercase and lowercase letters. So, if weapon equals pistol, then the max ammo equals 30. I am just making up these numbers. I'm sure someone who's more versed on how guns work could possibly give more information as to how much ammo different types of guns can hold but that's not really a concern of mine I'm just go I'm because I'm just basically showing off some code here so if your weapon is a shotgun then this a shotgun won't be able to hold as much so max ammo equals eight and say we have a machine gun Now notice there is a space here. That means there's a space in the name. That counts as a character in, in the text. Strings can have spaces because it's just a line of text. Variables cannot, so you have to be careful there. If weapon if the weapon is a machine gun, then there max ammo equals four hundred. Um just making it up. So yeah, that's how it works. So now, if I was to program something else in the game that meant that my weapon changed from a pistol into a shotgun, the amount of ammo that I can have would change. It wouldn't be 30 anymore, it'd be 8. And because of this this function here, this if statement here, it's going to dictate what the actual limit is. So my ammo can go up and down depending on if I, if I shoot or if I um, if I pick up some more ammo or whatever then that's going to go up and down, but it can't go over the max, and the max is determined by whatever weapon you have. So it's all about getting variables to interact with other variables, and that's basically how games work. Basically, I mean, there's going to be a, there's a lot more to it than just the, this at the moment. I mean, you will have to actually write the code for how a, a gun is shot, what it means for a gun to be shot, what it means to collect a new gun so say for i mean say for example you have a shotgun for example and then you collect a machine gun you're going to want your you're going to want a piece of code that increases your ammo as well as just your max ammo because if your max ammo is at 400 then it's just going to increase your max ammo you'll still be left with up to 8 ammo so it's just stuff to be careful of